Do you guys do like crazy stuff to the rookies and stuff? Yeah, we definitely like make them. Well, last year we had to like get slapped by this like eight inch. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Roommate TV podcast. Uh, we've been selling our merch. We only have one left of these hats. And then we also got dad hats like this with the same logo on black. So stay tuned for those. If you want one, DM us. Today's guests are Jerry and Mitch. They are the founders of the Create Great podcast. And they also went to the same high school as me. So yes, sir. welcome Thanks them. for having us. Go yep. cats. Let's go, baby. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having us. Oh, yeah, of course, guys. So you guys go to Whitworth now? I go to Whitworth. I go to UW. I'm a UW. Yeah. Okay, sick. Yeah, yeah. Sick. What are you guys studying over there? Uh, I'm studying finance, accounting, and business management. Okay. And then I'm finance and marketing. Okay, so that makes sense with, with your podcast. Yeah, a little biz in there. Tell them a little about what it's about. The podcast. Sure. So, so it's called Create Great. Yeah, yep. Create okay. Great. So the link the, will be in description. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah, where, yeah, where, plug, do you, plug. where do you stream it? Like, uh, It's on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Okay, I need to figure out how to do that. Yeah, how, yeah, did, yeah, yeah. how did you guys go about getting it on there? It's uh, So we use this hosting site called Anchor, okay. and it basically just like distributes it everywhere. But when we did it, it didn't do it for Apple Podcasts for us for some reason. So you okay. literally, though, you just like log into your Apple ID. And then you claim it. So like when you make a podcast, it gives you like an RSS feed. Okay. And you just type that in and you claim it as your podcast. And uh, we heard that it took like 30 days to get approved, but it literally took us like less than a day. And like oh, wow. it was up on Apple. And then That's literally sweet. like within five minutes that we posted it, uh, it was on Spotify. That's so awesome. Like, wow. Yeah. So both it's super easy to get up there. Huh. And like it gives you a ton of good like analytics. You can see how many listeners you have and stuff. Okay. And like how long That's they sweet. get into the episode. Yeah. It's super dope. So. What uh, What are your numbers looking like so far? We on Spotify, we have it was like just over a hundred plays, I Dang, think. Nice. Yeah. For so your we, first we were pretty one. stoked. That's yeah. So yeah. Sick. And then uh, Apple Music, we just got it up like a couple days or like a couple days ago. So okay. it's only at like 20 or something plays. Yeah. But no, that's yeah. a good start. That's yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. And then we've been trying to make like these cool little clips on Instagram to like yeah. get it hyped up. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. So we, we, we are like watching those. 150 yeah. some followers on there. So like I that's like been that. good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a quick it. start, man. That's good. Yeah, that's we're really super good. stoked for it. Yeah, yeah. It's so super fun. On on Apple and Spotify, like for YouTube, there's like a bunch of steps that you have to do to get monetized and make mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what what does that look like on there? Do you guys know? Yeah, yeah. So on there, it's like the same thing for analytics. So it literally you go to post it and then it'll give you a, like a chance to monetize it. Oh, okay. And so it'll link you with like what kind of genre your podcast is with okay. like specific advertisers and it literally just gives you an ad read and you just read it on there in your podcast and then however many listens you get it oh, just wow. like racks up like a little uh, monetization so, like, so okay many. Yeah, so yeah, are you so. already starting to make a little we money we're trying to like build an audience so like yeah. people before don't you annoy them the money, the, you know? yeah, yeah so, like we don't want to come out with the first episode like thanks for you know yeah, sponsoring totally. the video but you can get monetized right away yeah right now like wow. you could post a, a podcast tomorrow and make like 25 cents or something <laughs> but, Man. Yeah, hey, yeah that's super it's honest work baby because to get monetized on YouTube, it's, it's hard. like a grind. It's a grind. Really? You have yeah. to get 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 and thousand subs, subs really? within a year. And if you don't get it within a year, then, you're, then your watch hours reset. So you kind of yeah. got to blow up pretty quick then. Yeah, yeah relatively. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that that's actually super nice. We, we might start posting our podcasts on yeah, totally Apple do. It's and so Spotify. Easy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. even yeah. just our old ones, like you were saying, like post one a week. Exactly, right. This yeah. might actually be our very last podcast for a while. Yeah, we might we're going to switch it up. We might be switching to just like two vlogs a week instead okay. of a podcast. Yeah, yeah, And then later on making a separate YouTube just for yeah. podcasts. Right, that's smart. Yeah, yeah. The More thing was there. like the podcast really helped us get those watch hours. Because if, yeah. you know, say like a small amount of our fans watch a full hour long podcast, like that's a lot easier to get hours than like a five, six minute video. Definitely. So, yeah. but now that we have it and we're monetized, we can kind of chill out with that yeah, and just yeah, yeah. make, the, make yeah. the videos that will help us grow. That's sick. But, but no. yeah, tell us about the podcast though. I don't think we got sure. into that. Yeah, you wanna yeah basically, it well, we just started off our first was just the intro video and then that was basically just telling everyone kind of what it was about. We talked a little bit about what we envision it as and where we kind of headed and then Today, actually, this morning, we recorded with uh, Tyler Lafferty. He owns quite a few businesses around here, and 
it was just kind of cool to listen to him and kind of, we just wanted to do it for a way to get kind of connections and yeah. get people in there and soak up their information in like ways that we want to pursue later. Cause me and Mitch want to kind of do the same thing. So totally. it's helpful yeah. to get that information to yeah. just have things. No, yeah. That's, sick. Yeah. that's yeah. huge. Like people say like, be like the most successful people, like be a sponge, you know, like yeah. soak exactly, in all right. that info yeah, yeah. around that's you. That's what we were thinking too is like, we know there are successful people out there that are like in the industries that we're super interested yeah. in, like business, finance, and leadership. And we're like, what a better way to learn those industries than to just ask them. Like, literally, you know, the just have a conversation. Say is no. And like, it's a, like you yeah. said in the podcast, it's an excuse to like talk to them. Exactly. Yeah. You're right. like, hey, I have this podcast. Yeah. Instead of just like, hey, let's go out for some coffee. Yeah. But now yeah. you like, yeah. you're intentional with what you're going to talk exactly. about. That's you so know? sick. And like, it just shows them that you're ambitious and like you're, you're about yeah. it and they could be like a mentor to you. So yeah. like, mm -hmm. it's just super clutch. Yeah. You could just ask them. Yeah. Cause that's kind of like a lost thing nowadays, just having a conversation exactly. like that with yeah. people. Yeah. Which is like, especially to people like that i feel like it's like huge for like to them to be like yo like they I, were in that time where, like everybody talked and stuff exactly yeah. exactly yeah. so honestly, no that's sweet i'm like surprised that podcasts are b going big because i feel like now people are into just like quick like quick cuts and i know like, yeah. like tiktok you know like right, right, but yeah. people will just yeah. listen to an hour-long podcast it's interesting because uh, people have such a short attention span. Yeah. That's why TikTok is huge. We yeah. were talking about that. But I yeah. love, I just like put it on when I'm driving to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I don't You're even listen to music, music anymore. Yeah. I just no, listen to podcasts. Yeah, so. that's awesome. And that's like a yeah. big thing is like, we're trying to make like our podcast like cool, like making the hype videos and stuff, yeah. like getting yeah. people excited no, about it, good. you know? So exactly. like, then it's not just seem like a, a boring radio show or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, it doesn't drag kids, on. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're just having fun with it. So Right. Yeah. It's probably nice to on, on, I mean, I guess with your content, you wouldn't worry about it, but on there, it's probably not as like censored as YouTube. It's definitely not. Yeah. Like on anchor, it's literally like a button you can click if, if it's either like clean or explicit Oh, nice, and either nice. way, like they pretty much publish it. Like there there's go. so many podcasts that are super explicit. Like you're like, how yeah. is this on here? Like call, but, like call her dad. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. Even like Cody Ko's podcast. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, dude, I love yeah. it. Isn't that like tiny meat gang? Tiny meat gang. Yeah. They're so funny. I love listening to theirs. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I love Cody. Yeah. I used to watch their videos so much. I do like religiously. Yeah. I love those guys. <laughs> they're so funny yeah. so uh you guys competed in the state championship for, yeah 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 for 3a basketball. basketball tell us a little about that jerry's the man for that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Super the bucket here. <laughs> <laughs> were you were you the captain yeah nice some say he's better than lebron that's what i've heard, I've heard yeah. it yeah. I've never i think heard i saw it in the paper. <laughs> <laughs> what positions were you guys uh, i was like shooting guard yeah same nice Gang. but a little farther there's down a, the bench than jerry there's, a little, there's this little backstory i could give you guys about why we won so many games <laughs> <laughs> so uh before every game that we won at state so me mitch and then spencer barrera we were all in the hey, same room shout out spencer yeah another big guy <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely and then our so our first two games we uh we'd be in the room and something would happen i, I don't i honestly don't know how it happened or what but um mitch would just be naked <laughs> so those, every team has one of those yeah, guys so, <laughs> so the first two games somehow we saw mitch naked all right <laughs> Um, <laughs> then we won. It's then, not a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah, it's some magical and then powers. the last game, we were like, "All right, Mitch. Well, now we just got to see it to, to win." And we didn't see it, and we lost. So yeah. I think there's a I direct. Think I lost there's there's a direct. There. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't. That know. That's on you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take <laughs> not for it, bro. Not that's not for one you could just tell the news. <laughs> Dude, that's now that's jokes. Knows. Though. Everyone knows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, it was, it was that's freaking funny, funny man <laughs> so you so you lost the championship yeah, though we lost oh, the championship. tough hey bounce. man though like mouse spokane sucked before you guys yeah came for real yeah so the big before you Jerry's started stripping like, for the boys the yeah, yeah, yeah. It was insane. <laughs> yeah. like what who'd you have you had uh jt jt yeah, JT, jt is a beast yeah, bro. Yeah, no doubt we had tanner tanner was a beast yeah. too little, yeah. little sus but <laughs> good, yeah. good on the court a little like, sus off yeah definitely. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have those how'd guys. you like wagon blast you think he was a part of it or yeah no? no i think he was a really good coach like basketball mind wise but just a really awkward guy. yeah i had him as a yeah. math teacher yeah, so you got the treatment. <laughs> <laughs> that dude could definitely be like a D1 coach, though. Like, he's, oh, no he's doubt. so smart. It's ridiculous. Yeah, basketball yeah, wise. Sure. Yeah. He definitely yeah. like turned the program around for sure. That's awesome. 100%. Yeah, because who was the coach before? It was uh, one of the know. teachers. It was like, yeah, it was Dan Smith. I and think. then he, he like BYU. retired or something. Yeah. But yeah. 
But no, wagon. I like wagon. But I like the t- stories he told in the yeah. Ass. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard he's got some funny stories. Yeah. That's Did awesome. you guys ever look at playing in college or? I'm actually playing in college. Oh, right you now. are. Okay, yeah. for Whitworth. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. That's sick. It is. I, I was never good enough. <laughs> I, I knew. Yeah. You said farther down the bit. I knew from high school. I was like, yeah, this isn't for me. But I'm having fun. You had in high fun school. with it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You got What's... robbed of your senior season, dude. Ah, no, we finished it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We were able to finish. Oh, wow. It was literally the COVID stuff happened the week after oh. the state tournament. Oh, nice, I, guess, nice. I guess it's a winter sport. Mm-hmm. For, yeah, I don't exactly. know why was, Yeah. Yeah, so the week that's after our pledge. state tournament, that's how it that's was when everything started getting well, canceled and stuff. Yeah. How far did you guys get? We lost first round. Oh, okay. <laughs> we thought we were going to win. Dude, but t- another person is Tyson, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's holy. huge. Yeah, he, he's his tonight. freshman year, he was like, insane already. Yeah, yeah yeah he was on the team his freshman year went off like he's huh. he's only getting better too like yeah. he's crazy well, he's filling out what too great now. is he gonna be now he's gonna be a senior yeah. like Jeez. he's still in high school and he's just getting buckets Dude, so. Dang, I, bro. he was a freshman when i was a senior I yeah think. so that's insane he's yeah. Been, yeah what the heck what dude? is your season looking like at Whitworth this year uh so right now everything's kind of postponed till yeah. january but we had a, yeah we had a meeting today and then we can still like practice and do all our workouts and stuff. It just has to be with five people or less. So or, little, little small group yeah, set up. Yeah. Or like we can do stuff outside, but I don't know how that'll work with basketball. Yeah, so especially like, once it gets <laughs> winter. Snow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cold yeah. Yeah. That's like, tough. Exactly. Dude, we're running into the same thing with hockey, man. Yeah. Like, the, especially because our school kind of screws us. Like, they're not even going to put in the ice until like really? January. So we can't like Wait, practice or anything right? at Eastern. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's tight. Nice. So. Dope. But yeah, man, I feel you. Hopefully, yeah. we get it in. So, you, did you play last year there too? Yeah, yeah, it How was, was the same thing for us. We finished up like right before COVID okay. hit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. So yeah. we 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 lucked out too. That's, that's great. So is it actually like Eastern's team, or is it like a club thing within Eastern? Yeah, Eastern's team. We're so we're in sick. the we're in the Pac-12, so we play like. Uh-oh. Like UCLA, that's, yeah. that's yeah. Like insane, all that stuff. Dude. Yeah, it's, that's it's a good time. Sick. That's so dope. So you get to travel out there then? So? Oh yeah, yeah. We that's yeah. So this, this last year we went to uh, we went and play, we played Cal Berkeley. We played UCLA at UCLA, and we go to like North Dakota a lot, all over the okay, place. Yeah, 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 a lot of people, yeah, like don't really like sleep I, on yeah, Eastern. I never realized. Like yeah. they don't get it out that much, but we, I mean, we get a good amount of fans and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. They definitely need to get more exposure. Yeah, for real. That's super sick. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Hoping to get in a fifth season in, but I like stretched out my classes on purpose to oh, get yeah, another yeah, year right, in and I then all playing. this happened. So yeah, yeah. yeah we'll tough. see. So are you on scholarship? Yeah, it's like since we were a private school, they only do like academics, but for okay. sports they put together like a academic package. Oh. <laughs> nah, there you so go. It's like a There's always ways than, around yeah, it. Yeah, but <clears throat> So it's nice because what was pretty expensive yeah, by it's itself. Oh yeah. So, I, yeah. Are you guys going to going to class in person? Uh, I have two in person and three online. So my, I had Let's a go. night class tonight. You got your actually, eight a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> that, that one's in person. No, that one's luckily online. Online, so nice. That's clutch. Yeah. Pull up the laptop. Yeah, guys, it's almost midnight, and Jerry's <laughs> out here doing the podcast. He's got, <laughs> he's got, he's got an got eight a.m. Class tomorrow. In the morning. What classes hey, at eight a.m.? Big beauty. Uh, financial accounting. <laughs> gotcha. Let's go. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun. Yeah. Hey, at I've, least I've you taken three accounting classes. I hate accounting. It's the worst. I have heard it sucks. My mom's an accountant. And I don't know how she does it, man. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All day. And George also. Yeah, Giorgio mm-hmm. locked down a job, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a UW boy too, right? Yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah, sick. he's a big UW boy. Yeah, his whole huge. Life. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. he loves it. That's yeah. awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because he's really involved in stuff there too. Yeah, he just got a job though in San Francisco. Really? That, wait, is yeah. he graduating this year? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And he locked down a job for next year already, and I think it's San Jose actually. That's so sick. Yeah, San Jose. That's Damn, super that's cool. he's making moves, man. Yeah, yeah, that's super yeah. cool. Good for him. Out of boy, yeah. Giorgio. Yeah. I guess that's what happens when you go to UW. You yeah, know? I guess so. I <laughs> so hope that's so, what you man. got to look yeah. forward to. I hope so. <laughs> no, that's crazy though. Um, with Whitworth, like I feel like they're is it because they're private they can do in person classes? Yeah, I think they kind of have more lenience, but I think they still have to follow some guidelines. Yeah, but... you have to wear like a mask in class. Yeah, I had to okay. have a mask on the whole time, which kind of three hour class that does yeah, suck. Three pretty... hours, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's I th- brutal. I thought I had COVID, but it turns Dude, out, dude, yeah, 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 that's good. I don't, know. I don't know how, honestly. Like, <laughs> I, I couldn't smell two days ago, but now I can, so yes. Yeah. I guess it stays longer if you have COVID, so okay. that makes sense. But it's yeah, I got weird. the I got the email today. I was like, "How do I not have it?" But, yeah, that's crazy. But I feel fine now. It was only like a two day thing. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. I was nice. low key like not stoked because I got back from a little roadie and 
I came over to here to um, give him clips for the for that video oh, yeah, that we yeah. just posted, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, I don't really feel too good." And then the next day, he's like, "Yeah, I can't taste and smell." I, have to come <laughs> <over>. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, sick, dude! Glad I came over last yeah. night." <laughs> but yeah. then, yeah, apparently he doesn't. So yeah, that's, that's pretty chilling. neat. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, bro. So d- it just like you couldn't taste, you couldn't smell, and then you woke up today and you could again. Well. Two, for two days, I couldn't taste and smell, and then right. today when I woke up, I was like basically 100 percent fine. So let's go. That's, that's weird. Much. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Man. I was kind of bummed actually. I kind of wanted to get it over with. Oh yeah, like, you wanted to be way. superhuman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just immune <laughs> at that point. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Or it was a false negative, and now we all have. COVID. Yeah, now we're all, we're <laughs> all going home. Sick. Not tasting. Well, Ra- Rachel Dane's girlfriend it. already had it. Yeah, she's in the audience. It? So it's oh, crazy that know, Dayton didn't that. get it then either. Oh, wow, wow. what? Dayton is immune. <laughs> he what really is, is bro. <laughs> I don't know. I tested, got the when she had it, I got tested. Because you were hanging out I, with I her. I hung out with her like the whole time she had it. Literally when she had it. Like she was symptomatic. And then I tested and it was <laughs> negative. <laughs> Dude, it's because you eat all those. the vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm immune, bro. It's because you eat all those vegetables, man. Yep, that's you're on that Laird Hamilton diet. That's what it is. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's impressive. Whatever you're doing, it's working, man. <laughs> you dub is crazy with cases isn't it yeah Still? yeah especially like in the greek community oh uh, yeah towards like in the in the um end of the spring and like beginning of summer they had an outbreak of like over 80 cases yeah it was bro. just crazy That's yeah insane. yeah so they like postponed all rush and stuff like that Dang. and then uh and you're you're in a frat yeah i'm in a fraternity so uh podcast pi Kappa Phi. Yeah. Um, hey. they had a couple cases early on too and right. then like they were trying to like they had to cut back on all rush events like yeah. the intra fraternity council too was like can't have anybody out to the houses or anything. So like that was kind of interesting, like rushing through like Zoom and stuff. Basically. Literally, yeah. So, that's crazy. Yeah, but Weird they, they got hella cases over there. Yeah, so Dang, that's kind of tough. They're they're all online, so like I'll just right. be at home then. So. Okay, so you're gonna, are you gonna stay here the whole year? Yeah. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, it, it depends. Unless it clears up. Yeah, I hope it clears like, up, bro. Because I know, like, because to have your first fr- like freshman that year sucks. when you get into a frat, yeah. like, like you're literally not doing any like frat stuff. I know. Yeah, I was so excited <laughs> to move into the house and stuff yeah. like that, and like yeah. all the college football Saturdays. Like, yeah, I could not wait for that especially at UW it's like real Greek it's life like, a like culture a, at Eastern yeah, yeah, yeah. like exactly. it, Greek life is n- is yeah. stupid man no when you're on the Greek row at UW it's like it's like movie it's stuff no like, like college yeah, like no, it's crazy because I visited Georgia a couple of times yeah. and we like walked down Greek we went to the sick new house yeah we went to the sick new house he did oh, his little okay, secret okay. handshake <laughs> <That's> <laughs> sweet. I did the secret handshake to get in and I like walked around it was so they gave us a tour of the house and stuff and that's not even the best house there like that house was dope yeah they have crazy houses it's just like mansions over Literally. there yeah. even george's house is like insane <laughs> he's in a and christian house right yes. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I, I, we saw those too. Sweet. yeah yeah those are sweet yeah. yeah yeah so it's kind of tough it's all online but it'll be nice like i get to save a little money and stuff definitely so. definitely yeah, yeah so do you still have to pay like the full price yeah. for the frat y- yeah exactly so like mm. well I, I save on my room and board and everything like that right, so like right. normally when you pay like your fraternity dues it pays for like room and board like food and then mm. like your dues for like you know the parties and stuff like that that yeah. funds that Right. But since I'm just staying at home, I don't have to pay that. But tuition is like the same cost for everybody, which yep. is kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't know how you can get the same education online yeah. as you do in people person. Are, but... People are freaking out about that at Eastern, too, because bet, we yeah. pay like, um, and I'm sure you guys do, too, like fees for like the gym and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And, and no fee- one can use it. Yeah, like, it's yeah. Ridiculous. People saw, I even saw people were trying to do like a lawsuit against Eastern really? for it. That's I don't know crazy. if it'll go anywhere, yeah. but yeah, I saw probably some, not. Uh, with Wazoo, they were like getting a whole ton of like shade because they were going to make kids still pay room and board, even if they what? weren't living there and stuff like that. Yeah, How to like that keep work? the facilities up. And then so like a ton of kids just started a petition and then finally they yeah. said they wouldn't do it. But I That's don't know whack. how they would like in the right mind do that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's insane, just, man. Just the fact that we have to pay for the frat fees though. Yeah, like, I know. It's crazy. Yeah. The dues. It, it's yeah. stupid because for spring quarter I had to pay. Yeah. I actually didn't pay yet. <laughs> but like you couldn't even be out there. Trying to dodge yeah. that bullet. Yeah. I'm trying to avoid it. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, we were supposed to pay, and it's just I didn't even go out there one time all yeah, spring quarter. So yeah, like, that's it's ridiculous. just stupid. Yeah. What, what am I paying for? <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Did you? Are you still technically in the frat at this point, Dayton? I am. Yeah. Any uh, any news on that that you care to speak uh, of? I don't know if anyone from this is gonna <laughs> watch, but I might be dropping. So <laughs> just a little too busy, you know, a lot of stuff going that's on. Fair. Yeah, it's commitment. It's fair. 
and you don't want to pay to not even be there. Yeah, so yeah, that is that's, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you so? Are, is there Greek life at Whitworth? No, no. Okay, I kind of because it's a Christian school. Yeah, yeah. No. Definitely. definitely. Do you know not. Jay Fleck? Joe Fleckenstein? Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay, he. Do you know like the Goat House? No. Goat house. Okay, I I think it's like a big thing there. I'm sure you'll come across. Okay. It's like right by Holmberg Park. Oh, but okay. It's like yeah. a party house. He lives there and. I just thought you yeah. might know. No, I'm sure <laughs> but, I'll, I'll make my way there sometime. Yeah. I go check out the goat house. Yeah. The goat house. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I, that I hope that's like, what it's called. That sounds like something from like Blue Mountain State. Go to the goat house. <laughs> um, but I mean like sports is pretty much the same culture, yeah. man. Like, yeah, definitely. Did yeah. You, Do you guys do like crazy stuff to the rookies and stuff? Yeah, we definitely like make them... Well, last year we had to like get slapped by this like eight inch like, <laughs> oh, girthy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, just like across the face. So I got a video of it, but Let's like, go. Yeah. there's Typical. definitely some stuff. I think it just varies so, on the. So year. you got slapped by an eight inch uh, dildo. Though. Yeah, but that is did, what you're trying to say. That did get stolen at a party, so we don't know what we're gonna do now. You're gonna have to get a new one, man. Yeah, no, no homo. Of just course. Like for whoever has to go in to buy it. I'll just use the real thing now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to buy a new. One. Do you guys? Do you guys have stuff throughout the season? Like, for hockey, we are absolute scumbags to the rookies. Like, <laughs> oh we we yeah, tell them about what you guys do, dude. We just treat them like AIDS all year, man. Like, if you're a rookie, you're you gonna guys... hit your life. Like, well, for like initiate like initiation and stuff, we have like the rookie party and like whatnot. And yeah. Like this last year, we like locked them all in a like a little dog cage and like made them answer a bunch of questions and stuff like that. <laughs> um, or like, th- we did some other stuff that like probably yeah we're gonna probably can't. Uh, <laughs> just can't <let> <laughs> but uh, but like even throughout the year, um, like just like simple stuff like, um, they can't. They have to like when we get when we get catered food like at the hotel. Yeah. They have to sit there until all the vets have got their food, oh, that makes or sense. or yeah, like right. they can't stand up on the bus until all the vets are off the bus. Yeah, just like would, simple stuff. You like have that. like a seniority like rule. Right? They're basically just like peasants. What's the seniority <laughs> thing you guys say? You say like. You Wait, can, what? If you want to like kick them out of a seat or something. Oh, oh, vet card. You guys yeah, do vet right, card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Basically, you can do whatever you want to them and yeah. just call vet card. Like, well, like yeah. you know, you make them buy, buy you food at their yeah. meal plan and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That definitely happens. That's definitely time. in the frat, too. Like, yes. Stuff like that. Okay. Dude, it, it was insane, the, the frat stuff for them. Like, because um, <laughs> Dayton was a pledge and our other roommate, Anthony, he was a member. Yeah. And, like, um, <laughs> I remember we had a party at the apartment. Um. And we just trashed the apartment on purpose. Like we stacked all the literally. furniture in like a big pile in the <laughs> living room, and like we literally were just like tearing up paper and throwing it all around. And um, Anthony made the pledges come clean it at like six a.m. And we after we'd been up all night, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we probably can't disclose too much about the whole thing, but yeah, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. That was uh, an easy thing <laughs> <laughs> other stuff but you, you okay the frat stuff is way worse than the hockey stuff is it oh yeah okay yeah yeah you it guys was, did some was, crazy it stuff intense <laughs> at least you won't have to do any of that with the yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go in there as a sophomore <laughs> are like you, are you like initiated <laughs> yeah like i already signed and everything wow. yeah yeah so man like, you got, got off lucky yeah and like wow. i was one of the top signees too so i wouldn't have to sleep in a sleeping porch like i just oh, get a wow. quad it's like i have a living room like that's it's so insane, sick bro. Yeah, exactly. So you finesse that nice. Yeah, I'll skip out on it. Like we'll have other pledges to to harp on when, yeah. when I get over there. So yeah. it'll be perfect. Let's go. Yeah. That's how, that's that's how it was for me with hockey when I came to Eastern. I like the whole team was pretty much rookies, so we didn't have to do any of that stuff. That's Same nice. Thing. Yeah, exactly. and then you just get to do it to yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> it's that's the perfect. best. <laughs> so how was your season last year, Jerry? Uh, it was actually really good. We had we went to the Sweet 16. We were supposed Ooh, to go to oh, Philadelphia, nice. and Damn. then it actually got cut short. But uh, we were literally a, going to the airport on the bus, and then we got like the notification. But we no had, way, dude. We kind of had the idea because the NCAA like Division One tournament <laughs> got canceled. So we were like, why did it get canceled? Because of COVID. COVID and stuff. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess that was. 
Yeah. Jeez, yeah. I, it doesn't seem it's like... It's been a long time. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a, super I know, weird. It's crazy. It's starting to feel normal now, which sucks, <laughs> yeah, but I mean... For real. How many months has it been? Since March. It started in, yeah, what, March? March is when everything shut down. So, like, down. S- half a year. Yeah, yeah. like, six yeah. months Dude, that's now. actually insane. Absurd, yeah. It doesn't seem what like... What the heck? Because now it just kind of seems, like, subconscious. It. Yeah. yeah, it's just how stuff life. is now. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I wonder, like, how much of this stuff is just going to be the new norm. I know, that's like, what I'm Like, masks. The masks, dude, I really freaking hope yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be, I'd move to a different place. For real. Because in my mind, I was thinking, I was thinking that could have been COVID when you said that. I was like, that was so long ago. That was, like, a year ago. Yeah. But, yeah. How, that's that's insane. It is. That's so tough though. You're like gearing up for it. You're yeah. going to the airport, and then they're just like psych. Yeah, Especially make like such a good run too. Yeah, exactly. yeah man, that's ah. Uh. Because the week before we went down to Texas and we played two games that we were not supposed to win, but wow. we ended up we actually Poker. played this one guy who had like sixty points on us. He was just <laughs> Jesus. ridiculous. But, Jeez, bro. Yeah, so it was kind of tough, but. Well, you, you guys got to go to Texas. That's sick. Yeah, it was yeah. Dope. yeah. Where at in Texas? Uh, it was in Dallas. Okay. Yeah. It was nice. Nice. Dope, actually. Yeah, so d- what league is it? Uh, we're in the Northwest Conference, but that was like the whole Division Three tournament. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. You guys travel quite a bit then? Yeah, we traveled a ton last okay. year. Okay. Luckily, we get to fly everywhere. Let's we're go. We're the only team at Whitworth, which is pretty clutch. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah. Well, so what's like the majority of the places you go? Uh, we go to, in our conference, like we go to Seattle a lot and then Portland You fly even to Seattle? Yeah. Which is Dude, oh, that's yeah. so Shane, nice. Shane had to like drive to North Dakota. Bro, yeah, we, <laughs> we, we have a team bus and we bus to all the way to North Dakota yeah. twice. We only drove to one game and that was to, uh, in Montana. Dang, uh, bro, that's some, so nice. Sometimes it's fun to drive. Bro. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, it's like good team, yeah. team yeah, bonding. For sure, for but sure. I mean, I that's sick that you guys fly yeah. so much. Yeah, no, it was pretty cool. You kind of get sick of flying after a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, like anything, you get used to it. Yeah, but exactly. we only fly when we go to like California. That's about right. it. Yeah. So that's super nice. Yeah, it's clutch. What um, was your was Texas your farthest trip? Um, we went to Missouri. Oh and wow! And we went to Wisconsin. That's legit, bro. Yeah, it was that's cool. sick. Yeah. Did you guys do Deca? I did not. I did, I did in not. high school. Mm, no. oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't either. For some reason, I thought you did, Mitch. But... Huh. No, I never. I wish I would have. Now, like now that I want to get into marketing, yeah, yeah. just never got into. Yeah, that would fit you guys perfect. Yeah, it would have been perfect. But yeah. I just like I skipped it <laughs> freshman year, and then sophomore year I was like, I don't want to be in a class with all these freshmen. So yeah. I, yeah. You know what? I'm that's bagging fair. it. Yeah. yeah. I that's wish I would have. There's a lot of people who are great ahead of us who all like joined our class as right. sophomores and yeah, yeah. It, it's not the best I feel like maybe <laughs> yeah. you made the right call yeah, I'm glad then, yeah. <laughs> but Deca was pretty fun yeah it seemed like it yeah especially when they go to like nationals and stuff that looks yeah. so dope it's insane yeah, yeah I definitely wish I did biomed I thought I wanted to be a doctor oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Psych. I went through one semester of like the med program at Whitworth and I was like oh, gotcha. this is not for me <laughs> switch to business yeah. Yeah. that's fair no that's fair so do you guys always fly commercial or do you ever get a little PJ action? No, we flew commercial everywhere. Okay. Yeah. yeah. PJ. <laughs> I, I wish that would be dope. Yeah, that'd be tough. on the side. Yeah. Dude, imagine, bro. That'd be that unreal. Be sick. Nasty. <laughs> Say, yeah, there's no way we'd ever get a PJ. <laughs> no <Yeah>. chance. <laughs> Is there anybody who inspired you guys to like go into business or start the podcast? Like anyone specific or was it just... What inspired you, I guess? Yeah, no, the Dan podcast. Blazarian. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're about. <laughs> the podcast, like, I remember, like, a distinctive, like, inspiration moment, like, to start it is, uh, so Jerry and I started, like, this little lawn mowing business when mm. COVID started. It's called okay. COVID Free Lawn Cutting. Yeah, yeah. So, like, capitalize you know, like we got to mow it? tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Every oh, wow. Thursday, we, yeah, we mow, we go. have, like, 19 yeah. lawns we mow every week. Jeez. So yeah. You're, are you making that's decent fire. money? Yeah. So, it's a nice, like, little side hustle and stuff like that. That's tight. Yeah. So, we started that. So, so there was one morning I was just mowing and uh, I listened to this podcast. It's called Born to Impact. But there's okay. this guy, his name's Joel Marion, and he's like a big business guy. He used to be like a professional athlete and stuff. Gotcha. And I was listening to it and he had this kid on there who was like a 20 year old kid. And he's talking about the podcast that he started. And uh, he was saying like, literally like what we were thinking also, he was like, a podcast is just a great way to build connections and like actually talk to the people you want to talk yeah. to and stuff. And he was like, never just think about the timing. He's like, the timing's never going to be perfect. Like just start it. Like you should just do it. And yeah. I was like, dang, that's like, that really like spoke to me. I was like, that is sick. Like, yeah, I like just go if this kid it. can do it. Like, why can't I do it? Yeah, you know? And then uh, Jerry and I, like we run the lawn mowing business. Like we do all sorts of that stuff together. And like, we have all like the same goals. So I like hit up Jerry. I was like, bro, we should do this. Like, I just heard this clip on this podcast. 
And uh, so like I was mowing, he was at work and then I just sent him the podcast and like the timestamp. I was like, you got to listen to this. Like, this is sick. We can do this. dude. Dang. And then, so uh, we were just like texting back and forth and we got super hype about it. And then we just had like a couple meetings and then we bought a mic and then like, we got some, like a camera and our drone to kind of promote it a Heck little yeah. bit. And then so what, like, what drone did you get? It's the the Mavic Mini. Oh, so it's that's like, right. Yeah, yeah, same yeah, one I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. I have like one for work and then I use the Mini for YouTube. Yeah, it's so. perfect. It's super fun. Yeah. But that was like the distinctive moment. Like me Let's and Jerry were just like, bro, we could do this. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's, Jerry, you're mu- you must be busy. You work, you have a job, you do the lawn mowing, you do school and basketball. Yeah. That's insane. Dang, yeah, man. last week Grabbed I no Last week was my last week of like my day job. So. Oh, what is it? I was working excavation. Oh, okay. Oh, is nice. it like Hat- Hattenburg yeah, stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So That's I sick. could not keep that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be insane. That's a grind. Right? Yeah. 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 It was. That's definitely. Even a just one guy. job like athletic yeah. even just a job yeah a job yeah. sports oh, and yeah. school no, is sports, tough yeah. man i feel you yeah. yeah that's a grind that's like a 14 hour <laughs> yeah, yeah that's ridiculous grind, that's do you when do you guys practice normally um, when stuff's not whack morning or night well when we're like in season we normally practice at night but yeah during like our preseason, which we're in now we have like two days a week we practice in the mornings or like it's workouts but right then, like five days then we work out like after yeah like in the evening so it's a grind yeah it is we for hockey we would practice at 6 a.m yeah. and then i have class all day and then work till like 10 9 10 at night and yeah. dude I, it's such a grind oh yeah so. it is dude that's that's sweet though with the podcast like i see a lot like that's just like what dayton and i did pretty much like uh, yeah. yeah like why not you guys like, yeah. yeah like we we both wanted to do it for a long time and then we were just like for some reason we just started all of a sudden yeah, yeah no so. that's awesome that's the way to do it yeah, yeah. yeah. no never so that's be like super perfect sweet. timing like Mm-mm. just do it like if you that. like it yeah, yeah try it never like, wait it on it because you never yeah. know just, exactly and you're, you're always gonna waiting. be wondering yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and then like now when like we're all young and stuff like why not try this stuff yeah you know? right age so. like 18 to like 24 is the time to hustle yeah, yeah. And try it. stuff exactly. out yeah try whatever Grind yeah. Your ass yeah you have off. so much time oh, yeah because even if you fail you still have so many more years yeah exactly yeah and then you know yeah and even if you do fail you like learn so much yeah exactly yeah yeah or even yeah even like with your podcast, like say, like you're even just meeting great connections too. Yeah, yeah even if so no one listens to the podcast, like we're learning so much from these yeah, guys and stuff like that. And exactly. Like, yeah, it's super awesome. It's so, funny too, even like being like 22, like um, it's like, man, I wish that we would have started YouTube like four years ago. Of course, and it, it yeah. seems like you're but so you guys are behind. Still, like, so young, I, like, I would have been yeah, a like kid in the four big years picture. Ago. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> It like, all the timing all works out. Yeah. Like it is what it is. Yeah. Um, so the lawn mowing thing, how do you guys like market that and get clients? We uh we so we started out, it was like it was another thing, like just a little thing is Jared and I were talking when COVID started, we're like, all right, what are we gonna do? Like we gotta get some work going, like yeah. we're going to school online, like what are we, we gonna have do? Time, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Like Jerry hadn't started his summer job yet or anything. And then so we just met up one day and we're like, all right, let's start a lawn mowing business. So we just like <laughs> typed up a little flyer. And literally, we're just asking like all our family members to post Let's it on go, Facebook. Man. Heck yeah. And then, so like, we had our moms, our aunts, our sisters, like all just post it's like it on so Facebook. juvenile, yeah, but exactly. like such we're a hustle. Kids, like, yeah. yeah, you know, what? we're gonna try and get this out there. That's tight. And then, so like, it was flyers at first, and then uh, we had like a couple like just like freelance clients that we got, and then Jerry hooked us up with uh, this guy named Zant. And he has like all these rental properties at Gonzaga. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That's so a, that was a big plug for us. Yeah. Jerry sent me a, Dang, a photo man. of like this list of like 18 addresses. And he was like, you ready to dog it tomorrow? I was like, you're <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, that's gotta be a grind, <laughs> yeah, man. I was like, like no so. way that we're doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might need to hire it. somebody soon. Exactly. <laughs> that's what we were thinking too. We're like, why are we doing this? Let's pay somebody yeah, else yeah, for this. Literally. Yeah, yeah. This sucks. Do you yeah. see that growing at all? Like. Yeah, what's your, do you plan on continuing it? We're, we're going to try like next, uh, well, actually we're going to do, try this like snow plowing. Yeah, you know? I was going to yeah, say yeah, you could do blowers. something with the, your clients and in the winter. Exactly. We're going to do that and then like get a little trailer. Because right now we're just using the back of my car to throw the mowers in. And do <laughs> in that. your car? Yeah, it's yeah. a little tiny, Not even a truck. That's yeah, funny, yeah. man. <laughs> so yeah. we're going to try and get a trailer for the snow and plowing thing and then um, use that next summer, hopefully get some better equipment and start, <laughs> yeah. start advertising early, hopefully get some more lawns enough where we can make that worth Heck it. yeah, man. So we'll you see guys got very entrepreneurial mindset oh yeah, yeah. That. yeah. We, we try yeah. yeah that's impressive man like you're you're making me want to start something that's I awesome what, Good. i love that i love to hear that that's we perfect. gotta we gotta figure something out <laughs> i got stuff bro 
Yeah, you that's have good. ideas. Yeah, we'll fire that's something up. Yeah, no, that's sweet. Do you have already have like snow blowers and like s- equipment for yeah, that? Yeah, I have I a got, snow blower. Yeah, yeah. I okay. have one, like we just use so in my driveway. Set, so yeah, like yeah. it'd be easy. And I think snow blowing, like no one ever wants to go out in the cold and shovel snow. Like before oh they yeah, go to work or something. You'd way rather have somebody exactly. do it for you. Yeah, so That's people sick. pay good money for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully yeah. we have a big winter. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. The dude, did you guys see? Um, like two days ago, it was snowing in Montana. Yeah, that's like insane. what? It was like and gunning. Wyoming, and and uh, yeah, Colorado too. Yeah, yeah and I, Colorado. I lives in Boulder. Yeah, who, who sent me a video of his house, and it's literally just like inches up there. Yeah, man. Oh my god, insane. Even in uh, I have friends in Bozeman. And oh they, yeah, they got yeah. a lot Montana in Bozeman. Snow. Yeah. Crazy. yeah, Boulder weather is insane. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like yeah. one day it's like ninety, the next yeah. day it's like <laughs> yeah. snowing. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's gnarly. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was crazy. Is and then um, yeah, because I think Montana they also got snow super late this year too, super late and super oh, early. Oh really? They got snow in like June, I think. Oh Damn. yeah, Montana. Like, that's it sucks. That. Sucks <laughs> to be there. <laughs> that's crazy. Do you guys do you guys ski or snowboard or anything? I never have just because of basketball. Athletics, so yeah. It always interferes, but yeah. I feel that. I, I grew up skiing because my dad's the uh, operations manager at Mount Spokane. Oh, oh no way, yeah, bro! Yeah. So like, since I was like three, he had me on skis, wow. and like we used That's to live sick. actually in one of the condos, like just on Mount Spokane when I was super little. Okay. Like him and my mom were pretty young, and uh, we literally just lived at the condo, and then my dad would take me to work with him. Like I just ski during the day, and then, like, Dude, he'd take go. me down. So it was, was super it fun. The Big condo that has like the separate room with the hot tub and the pool in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, yeah, Tro- the same Troy place. had a condo up there. And that really? was it. Yeah, me and Troy used dude. to go to his condo all the time. That's awesome. Like, yeah, we literally lived in, in one of those. Like, dude, from the time I was crap. like a baby till I was like five, we lived in there. Like yeah. one of those tiny so little. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, exactly. Dude, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it was super fun. Like life, you're so though. far from town. Like yeah. in the summertime. Yeah. But in the winter, true. like it's perfect. You're like walking distance to the mountains. Just yeah, hop on the lift. Yeah, exactly. That'd be so fun. That's unreal. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it was a dream for sure. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. feel that with the athletics though, because like yeah. this, I mean, I, I find time, like I'll go like four or five times a season snowboarding, but this year I'm stoked, like sucks that we're probably not going to have a season, Yeah. but I'm stoked to hit the slopes we're gonna, more. Yeah. We're going to go big time this year. Because yeah. oh, yeah. last year or the year before last year, I went like 25 times, but yeah. then this year I went once. Oh, oh that's dang. tough. I, I was just so busy yeah. that I couldn't yeah, do anything. Right. Yeah. That's especially tough with like your guys' like winter seasons. Like now, right. there's no way to work it in. And like your coaches probably don't like you even doing that either. No, so. yeah. Especially I'm not on scholarship, so I, I like I you probably aren't allowed to, huh? I mean, they probably wouldn't encourage you. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you they, they're not like stoked skiing. about it, They'll but yeah. they don't make you sign a contract or no, anything. No, no. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Definitely. It's just hard to find time with travel and stuff. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. And you, yeah, you don't want to hurt yourself, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little sketchy. <laughs> so this year we're full sending it. Oh, yeah. No, I'm we, trying we to get should, really we good. Go oh, yeah. We can make videos out of it, too. Yeah, you guys can yeah. make some awesome videos on the slopes. Yeah. That'd be so fun. Some Get yeah. some drone shots I'll, up yeah, there. That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah. That that'd would be, be dirty. Yeah, that would be super cool. Actually. I'm going to have to get better in order to like <laughs> actually be able to... I mean, I'm not bad, Troy's, but I want to do like good tricks. Troy's pretty good. So yeah. we could bring Troy with us, too. And Yeah. Can, Let's go. So do, wait, do you still ski now or I it... do like like Jerry was saying not as much like in high mm-hmm. school just cuz like basketball season in the winter yeah. time. But like now I'm super stoked cuz like especially yeah. cuz I'm going to be at home like I could I could hit it every weekend and mm-hmm. like online classes I could hit yeah. it on a weekday really Heck if yeah, I wanted. Dude. So yeah, no, I you're, still ski. You're probably pretty good then since uh, you grew I'm, up. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be humble like, guy. I used to go all the time when I was little, but yeah. Are you now, more like Trees or park. Trees or, yeah. I like when I was younger. I used to be big park kid. Like I'd do like the little like competitions, like the <laughs> oh, okay. stuff. So yeah. you can, can you do like flips and stuff. I used to be able to, not anymore, oh, not okay. at all. Yeah, I, if I did that now, I'd probably hurt myself. But <laughs> I'm not really into that anymore. It, it hurts to fall too much. So I that's just like fair. going through the trees, just like the back country. Just that's try, my yeah, pal. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. sweet. Can Troy do flips and stuff? Um, I uh, no, he can't, but he can do like three sixties and like grind on rails the rail. And stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not like crazy good, but he's pretty good for sure. You know that guy Reed? Uh, C- oh, Reed Sinclair, I think his name is. I think his Reed little sister. Yeah, yeah. His Reed little, little sister about. goes to Mass. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She he does. is insane. Really, skiing, dude? Is he the guy with the blonde dreads? No, he's got like black hair. Huh? Like black short. I just I only know him because I went on a ski trip with him through Eastern. Well, he was like one of the. The it was like an guides. epic thing. Yeah, yeah, epic. He, sick. He, he was like the guide dude or whatever, but he was insane. He can do like, like double backflip, like 
360 that's crazy. stuff. Like, X Games. Wow. Yeah. X Games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you get like free season passes and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, then? definitely. Dude, yeah, must like, be nice. So ever since I was little, like my dad's been hooking me up. So that's you tight. Gotta hook us up, dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if I'm you can, talk to I mean, pops. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be mad. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah. So when is your next podcast dropping? Uh, next Monday. So next we recorded Monday. Okay. The, yeah the big interview with Tyler Lafferty, like Jerry was saying. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, yeah, we were just ending it a little bit today. Gonna get some cool videos up, and then Heck we're yeah. dropping Sweet. on Monday. Sweet, Heck sweet. Yeah. Do you have any um, future guests planned out or get them as they come? Yeah, we got one guy we're trying to reach out to, uh, the CEO of STCU. Oh, oh no way. What? He's yeah. a local yeah. guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jeez, sick. Dude, uh, you guys Ezra are Eckhart. grinding with the connections. That's yeah, impressive. exactly. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to network with him and get him up on the podcast because like, we think he'd have a ton of valuable yeah. information. Let's and, go. Like, oh, yeah. He's a super local guy and like yeah. his daughters even went to prep and stuff like that. So. Huh. We hopefully we can network with him and get him on the oh, podcast. That'd be That's sick. sick. Yeah, did, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you? How did you get in contact with him? My mom, she's actually uh, like one of the directors at SDCU, so oh, she like okay, is like okay. directly under him, and so like she's always talking to him about me and stuff like that. They're always talking about their kids together. Dang, dude. And then so she just plugged it. She was like, "Yeah, my son's starting this thing. Like, he might be reaching out to you." And so we just got to shoot him a quick email and uh, try and get him on. So That's, That's so badass, tight, dude. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll that'll. If be you guys keep getting episode. guests like that, you guys are gonna blow up. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Exactly, it was, it's yeah. like the thing is yeah having like credible guests like that yeah like people they're credible so people will care what they have to say kind of thing right yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. Know big guys and yeah yeah, yeah. So. that's why we had you guys on you know you yeah guys. Like, that's right. <laughs> exactly that's perfect. people care what you have to say so. <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> but yeah uh tell them where they can find your podcast yeah, again plug yourself. Yourself. yeah for sure so on instagram we're uh official create great and then on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, it's just create great. We got an introduction episode. And then Monday will be that interview with Tyler Lafferty. So you'll be able to see it, you know. And then on Apple, um, if you guys just leave like a quick review, it helps us so much. Like we can just get, even if you just tap the stars, you don't even have to write anything. Like that'll yeah. help us so much just grow and like help the algorithm. So that's that's the best place to find us for yeah. sure. Yeah, and we'll link that Beautiful. in the description too. Awesome, so man. you guys can just go check Sweet. it out. Sweet. Yeah, thanks for coming on, boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. us. Yeah, awesome. it was a good time. Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, also guys, uh, stay tuned. We're going to get our podcast up on Apple and Spotify soon too. But other than that, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Peace.